Hi everyone, this is Trisha, and today I thought I would I would show you how to do a quick watercolor painting using just a couple of the stamps from Art Impressions. So today we're going to be using the rustic container set, this little boot here. I'm going to be using these two flowers from the flower set too, and the vine from the foliage set. I might use the little grass, I'm not sure, but I haven't decided yet, so I might use that as well. Um, first, I'm going to take the boot here, and I'm going to take the number 45 sepia, and I'm just going to ink up the stamp. I'm going to be using a couple of different markers because I'm going to color this boot in using my palette. I think I'm going to do this in portrait. So let's stamp our little boot probably right about here. And it's okay that I didn't get all of those lines completely in. Um, I'm just going to watercolor them so it doesn't, it doesn't really matter if they're not perfect. So we're going to take my brush and I'm going to dip it in some water and I'm going to pinch it off. And then I'm going to pull the color out of the lines. So I'm going to pull the color into the boot, just like this, around these, these little artist drawn lines here. I want to remember to keep a highlight in the middle of this boot. I don't want to color it in completely. Just going to soften these lines. And this will be very dark back here. We'll put some more, more color back there when we're ready. And just pull that color out of the lines. All right. So I'm going to put some mocha, number 85 mocha, on my palette right here. So I'm going to color. I'm going to color the bottom half of the boot with that. But I also want to have it a little bit of a softer brown. So I'm going to try to put some of this 43 Brilliant Yellow on my palette. And I might mix those two colors together to see if I can get a lighter, richer brown to paint uh, the top of that boot. So let's paint the bottom of the boot. I'll put a little bit of water on my brush. I'm going to pick up some of this mocha off my palette. And then I'm just going to brush the color in. I'm going to start at the outside where I want it to be the darkest and then I'm going to pull it into the middle remembering to leave a highlight so that we don't our picture doesn't doesn't go flat on us. And I'm only going to color this bottom half here of this boot. And I think I'm going to put a little bit on this out here this little shadow like that. Rinse off my brush and I'm just going to come in with some clear water and try to pull the rest of that color just just to soften the edges and pull a little of that color into the middle of the boot. Get rid of these hard edges here. Remembering to leave the white space soften that out a little bit more. Now I'm going to try to, let's see, mix some of these colors, these two colors together so we get a, a little bit of a lighter brown here. It's a great thing about using markers. You can mix your own colors. And then I'm going to come into the top of this. I'm trying to paint this, paint this color right in here. I don't own I don't own cowboy boots, but I'm assuming they're two. My cowboy boots would be two different colors: a lighter, more softer leather, 
at the top and a darker leather at the bottom. It's probably not how real cowboy boots, cowboy boots are, but this isn't real life, it's painting. So they can be any color you want. Okay, and then I'm just gonna soften these edges here. All right, that looks pretty good. Dropped a little on there. Okay, so now let's take, I made a mask for my cowboy boot. And I'm going to, first I'm gonna take the vine and I'm gonna put this on, on my block. And I'm gonna take the number 15 olive green and I'm just gonna throw some vines in here. So I'm gonna do a couple here. One, two, three. Remember, we're gonna stamp it f at least five times if we can. If we can, it's not it's not a huge deal. It just the more times you can stamp it, the better it's going to look. The the more depth you're gonna get. Okay, I'm gonna put a couple right here. And maybe a couple more right here. Okay. I'm not going to soften these yet. I want to throw in, I'm going to use this little flower here next. And I'm going to ink that up with the olive green. I'm not going all the way down because I don't think I'm going to, I'm not going to, they're not going to stick way up. So that, that should be more than enough. And I'm going to be using the 64 plum color. I'm just going to ink those blooms up. And I'm going to stamp it one, two, three. I'm going to stamp it a bunch of times. Like that. And then, last but not least, I'm going to take this little bush of flowers. This is when I'm gonna mask off my boot. Because I'm gonna put these right next to the boot and I don't want them to go on top of it. So I'm gonna do that with the olive green and then I'm using the number eight violet. So I'm just ink that up and then I'm gonna stamp it a few times here. And I'm gonna ink it up again and do the same thing on the other side. One, two, maybe three or four times. Maybe another one here. Okay. Now we can go in with our water and pull some color out. I'm going to pull some color out of the bottom of these first. And I'll go back in and put something in underneath this boot here, maybe some, maybe some grass. I haven't decided yet. And I'm just softening these greens here. I'm kind of just pulling them in a brush stroke because they're lines. And now I'm going to come in and I'm going to soften the little, the little buds. I'm going to try to do the back ones first so that they remain light. And I'm just touching these nice and easy, adding a little bit of water. Same thing over here. Just touching a couple of these, making sure you're leaving some white space. And then I'll do the top here. So I'm just going to touch these greens here and I'm just bouncing my brush around softening these lines and then these ones over here my brush isn't extremely wet so I don't want to lose the integrity of the stamp and I'm 
just going to touch a couple of these. Little stems here. Clean my brush off again. And I'm going to lightly touch these flowers just to bring them to life a little bit. And I'm not using a brush stroke. Remember, I want to they want I want them to remain looking like flowers. So just adding a little bit of water and just touching the tip of my brush to the tops of them. And I think I will use the grass just for the front of this to give it a little bit of grounding. So I'm just going to stamp a little bit here. And then out through here. Just like that. And I'll dip my brush again. And I'll pull that color right out of those lines. Remember on the, on the grass we're going to use a brush stroke. And we're going to pull up and out. like that. And then we're going to pull a little bit along the bottoms. Maybe add a little bit of brown at the bottom here. Use up the color on my palette. That's our little watercolor for today. You can also, if you if you feel inclined, you can add a little bit of sky to the background. It always adds a nice touch. It's a nice sunny day, so we'll just throw a little bit of a cloud, a little bit of blue sky in the background. Oh, had some yellow on there. That's okay. We could just pull that right off. Okay, last but not least, we're going to sign and date it, sign it right here, and that completes our project for today. Hopefully you'll join me in trying out this project. If you liked this video, please give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks and have a great day.